Yeah, that was their double jump. I think they're dead. Oh, I was gonna spike them! So at 11 p.m. last night, my brother messaged me asking if I could kill on the new stage. I thought he was talking about the arm stage, but suddenly, Small Battlefield was introduced to Smash Ultimate in the recent patch 8.1.0, which seemingly came out of nowhere. So suddenly, I just started playing Smash because I wanted to know what Small Battlefield was about, and I wanted to make a video about it for y'all, because why not? It's interesting, and it's something that literally nobody expected, and I'm going to be focusing on basically the stage and the music. I'm not going to be talking about the competitive implications of the stage list. Uh, I can do that in another video if y'all want. If you do, please let me know down in the comments below. I would appreciate it, because it is kind of an interesting topic to go about. But let us go into the stage itself. There it is small battlefield and one of the most interesting things about it which i personally love and i'm going to love this we're playing on elite smash is you can pick any song in the game now for final destination battlefield and fd which is so nice Finally, we can go on Elite Smash on one stage, but still get all of the music. And I mentioned this specifically just because that you have a small battlefield form on the stage preference in Elite Smash, whereas there is an Omega and a battlefield form for the other stages, so those will probably still rotate in Elite Smash, but small battlefield is only small battlefield, so the fact that you get to choose all of the music in the game and it's going to randomly cycle is going to be really nice. So really quickly, I do want to test the Blast Zones on Small Battlefield. Here's the stage, of course, in its entirety. It is a somewhat short, you know, main platform with two platforms up here, which is really, really nice. I'll get into the platform height specifics a little bit later, because first I want to test the Blast Zones of the stage and compare it to other legal stages. From a teeter animation like that, Mario will die with no DI at 104% to a down smash at the ledge. And with no DI, Samus' up throw will kill at 155%. So with those numbers in mind, 104% for down smash and 155% for up throw, let us test some other stages. So obviously the first stage I want to compare it to is Pokemon Stadium 2 being the other biplat. So with slightly smaller side blast zones, Samus' down smash will kill at 100 at the ledge. Up throw still blast zones at 155%, and that makes sense considering a lot of the ceilings in this game for the legal stages are about the same. Next, I want to test Final Destination for percentages because this seems to be the ideal blast zone size. It's a normal kind of size on the side. It's not too small, not big, and also it has a normal ceiling, so I'm just going to assume this is going to kill. And it did, but it did not kill at 154, so that is kind of saying that Small Battlefield has a typical ceiling. So for the side blast zones, it seems like Samus' down smash does not kill at 103, but it does kill at 104. Meaning that Small Battlefield's blast zones are the same size as FD's, which I personally really like. Now in terms of stage length, I also want to test that via Samus's rolls. Granted, this isn't a super precise measurement, but I still think it's going to be good. In order to eliminate the jostle or the pushing of characters, I'm going to have Mario keep jumping. So from the edge, it takes one, two, three, basically almost exactly four Samus rolls backwards in order to traverse Final Destination. Now on Pokemon Stadium, of course, the other biplat that is currently illegal, it takes one, two, three, four, and kind of a significant amount, like four almost and a half rolls in order to go from edge to edge. So FD is smaller than it, but let's check small battlefield. So from the edge teeter, one, two, almost exactly center, three, it's honestly slightly smaller than four. I think that's about the same as FD. Again, kind of an imprecise measurement, but it seems about the same as FD, definitely smaller than Pokemon Stadium 2, meaning that this biplat stage, small battlefield, is a smaller variation of Pokemon Stadium. Also, in terms of platform length, they seem to be slightly smaller than one Samus roll, so about a fourth of the stage, maybe slightly less than a fourth of the stage, and they come in very, very quickly from the edge, which again, I personally like. It's going to let people kind of do interesting things to get off the ledge with like ledge jump wave lands and stuff like that. Like, I think it is going to be very, very interesting to have that be an option. As opposed to Pokemon Stadium 2, where these platforms are just a little bit smaller, but again, that little type of, that, that little bit of height is going to make a big difference, and also so since the platform is farther away from the edge, you don't really have the ability to get off of the ledge like that. And I don't know, it just makes it predictable to land. Like there are characters like Cloud that if you're landing above him, you can just kind of spam an up smash and it'll cover the whole platform. Whereas that isn't the case on Big Battlefield because they're going to be a little bit wider. And with that, I do want to talk about the platforms of 
Small Battlefield versus Pokemon Stadium, with one really big example. So using Ryu as an example, you see that the Pokemon Stadium 2 platforms are quite a bit above his head, it's even above my tag that is above his head, and Ryu, and Ken as well, cannot full hop to these platforms, whether it's forward or backward, they have to do a double jump. A really, really quick double jump to get up here, which is obviously going to be a lot slower than just full hopping. However, on Small Battlefield, Ryu and Ken can jump to the platform with full hop. This obviously means that the platforms are smaller, but this is going to allow these characters to suddenly have a lot more platform pressure. And again, you know, I'm not trying to prove that Ryu is why this character should, like, this stage is good, but just I want to prove that these platforms are slightly more functional for all characters than Pokemon Stadium. Snake still gets the short end of the stick, he can't jump to these platforms. <laughs> So now, with the addition of Small Battlefield, we have a second bi-platform or two-platform stage with different platform heights as Pokemon Stadium, different blast zones as Pokemon Stadium, different stage length, which is probably honestly one of the biggest factors about it, and of course, unlike Pokemon Stadium, you can go under the stage. Because on Pokemon Stadium, there's obviously the little wall down there, so you can't go under it. You have to recover on one side. So honestly, this stage has enough things that Pokemon Stadium and Battlefield, at least in my opinion, should be different on rule sets. It should not replace PS2. It should just be a stage along with PS2 in these rule sets. Again, if you want me to go over a full video on just what I think about the stage list now, comment down below. Please, I would really, really appreciate it. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell you know for the other notifications but this is not quite the end of the video because I did want to play a couple games on small battlefield to show you what it looks like in action oh hey you can finally see me again with my wonderful panda global glasses which you can check out at panda.gg slash glasses so honestly one of my favorite things that is like gonna be coming from the fact that small battlefield is legal is like obviously this and stadium are a bit different right but at the same time, you're going to have people that play Elite Smash basically exclusively now be able to train on a bi-platform stage so it's not just FD and Battlefield, which is really, really nice. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> yeah, that was their double jump. I think they're dead. Oh, I was gonna spike them. Why'd they go away? So that was a really good game. Didn't really show much of a small battlefield, but it was a good game. Like, it's so refreshing just going on to like a battlefield looking stage and suddenly having like completely different music. Like, it's so cool. Tried to catch another really bad. That hit. Whoops. Yoink. Why would you swing a button there? You're crazy, Mr. Breath. Or Mrs. Breath, I don't know. Could I air dodge? I just tried to get greedy. Oh yeah, the the, the laser will blow that up. That is true. Tried to parry. No. <laughs> I'm dead. I was like, well, just in case he messes up, I'm gonna just keep trying to recover.
Be I actually would have SD'd if that didn't hit because the arm pullback is so long. Oh. No! dead again. Ooh, that was a really good uppy. I thought they were gonna go for Nair. I so 1-0 with Pikachu, 0-1 with Min Min, that's fine, and you get one more character. Honestly, I've been really enjoying Peach recently, just playing her. She's super fun. Uh, I do have to focus with her, so I'm probably not gonna be talking as much, which isn't exactly the smartest thing for the YouTube video, but that's okay. Oh, that was supposed to be grab. Nope. Like, just uh, hearing, like, the Xenoblade music on, like, this stage, like, a Battlefield stage is so cool. I'm so glad that they let us do this. Whoa, that hit the platform. Yeah, some, some moves on the ground are definitely gonna hit that platform that uh, didn't on any other platform, because I'm pretty sure they're the lowest platforms of any current legal stage. Or maybe maybe it's the same as normal Battlefield, I'm not sure. I thought I was gonna get the nastiest three stock. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay. Tried the frying pan. Mm, he ran into it. Mm, I just didn't swing because I didn't think he was gonna run into it. It's okay, beach butt. And yeah, honestly, I think the stage is really fun. I really, really like the fact that more people are going to be able to practice on a biplat stage, like more casual players. Maybe they can kind of get a sense of what, you know, playing a tournament is like, because now you have FD. You know, you typically think of those stages like two FDs, because you have FD and Kalos, you have Battlefield and Yoshis, and then you have, you know, Pokemon Stadium, and then Town, and Lilad, which are all a bit different. But honestly, having this stage kind of just, one, shows that Nintendo is listening because there's no reason to make the stage other than for competitive play. Like, this is obviously going to be legal, like, I don't think there's an argument about that. But they're clearly listening, you know, there were some improvements to online in this patch, but I have no idea what that means, and I don't know how it works well enough to say anything about it. So I'm gonna leave that to, like, the labbing nerds a little bit, like, those type of people that are, like, looking into the code and know all that type of stuff. So, like, that's not my, you know, forte. But yeah, honestly, I, th I really like the stage. I think it's really, really fun, and I'm going to be playing it a lot. You know, I'm going to, like, I honestly haven't really practiced that much on PS2 with Pikachu, because on Elite Smash, I play FD and Battlefield, and then I ban it a lot of times in tournaments, so I'm finally, I feel like, going to be able to practice on a biplat, maybe kind of get over my fear of disliking the stage, and that'd be really nice. Plus, you know, everyone starts PS2 in tournament every anyway, in terms of, like, most people, so, you know, people are going to be able to practice on their favorite stage on Elite Smash, which is really, really nice, making Elite Smash a better place to train. And yeah, that's going to be about it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, social media, Panda, and partner stuff is down below. Again, let me know if you want me to talk about what I think about the stage list and what it should be and the rule set and stuff like that in another video. That would be wonderful. And yeah, we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.